It started with this one email from, from one of our supporters saying, hey, you know, I was at, at the office today and I remembered watching this video last night and I wanted to show it to my colleague, but I, I pulled it up on my uh, browser in the office and I wasn't able to find the video. What happened? Did you take the video down? We first discovered that our videos are being restricted in 2016 and at the time that was 15 PragerU videos. Since we filed our lawsuit and started speaking up on the issue, not only has that number grown, it's now over 200 videos restricted. It's almost as if YouTube and Google are punishing us for speaking out and fighting back. Dennis Prager operates Prager University, which creates videos online to educate people. He's recently sued Google and its subsidiary YouTube. Prager University taking on big tech, the conservative group accusing Google-owned YouTube of unfairly restricting its conservative videos. PragerU is a digital media group whose videos have hundreds of millions of views. But the company claims tech giants like Twitter and Google are trying to crack down on them and silence them for being conservative. So now, PragerU is suing. This story that PragerU is suing YouTube, suing Google, it might be my favorite story in the news. 56 of 320 of our five minute videos cannot be seen by any family that filters out pornography and violence, by every school, by every library. They can't, it just cannot be seen. It's like it doesn't exist. Uh, if anyone has ever seen a PragerU video, they know that they're very educational and very <laughs> appropriate. We're suing them because what they're doing is obviously wrong. One fifth of our portfolio are being either restricted or demonetized by YouTube and Google. They just, which ones, nobody knows why. If you say anything positive about America, it's restricted. Anything positive about Israel, it's, re it's restricted. And then there are things that are restricted that I can't even figure out this why. This is why we launched an online petition that has over 450,000 signatures at PragerU.com. This is why we filed the lawsuit. Google and YouTube hold themselves out to be a public forum, a platform of freedom of expression and free speech well, online. Google defines itself as a public forum, right? It, its mission is to aggregate and make the world's information useful. So it's not only that we're saying that they're the biggest vehicle of communications of today and possibly of all times, right? They are saying it as well. But then they turn around and censor ideas they don't agree with. Uh, this is why we're heading to court next week on March 15th in San Jose. Uh, and you know, we're David, they're Goliath, but we're excited for this fight. I stand. I stand. With PragerU. PragerU content has a large following online, with some videos getting 10 to 12 million views. We want to break the stigma of what people are saying about conservatives, and the only way to do that is if we have a platform where we can get our message Heck, out I'm there. standing right here in front of the courthouse, right across the street. You can't see it. It's a beautiful building. It's a public library. If a student walks into that public library, goes on the computer, and searches for PragerU videos, there are over 200 that they will not be able to see. And get this, five of them are on the Ten Commandments. I used to work as a software engineer on the inside of Pinterest, and I know for a fact that there are people on the inside of Google and Big Tech who see the censorship and are afraid to speak up because they're afraid of losing their jobs. This is a blacklist, one of many blacklists that, that are at Google. This particular blacklist is showing which uh, uh, news sites aren't going to show up underneath the search bar when people are searching on their Android phones. Are we going to continue to think for ourselves or are we going to just let the biggest tech companies decide who wins. This is about another point of view that is being silenced. Tomorrow it's going to be your point of view that's being silenced. Is Google the one who gets to decide what everybody gets to watch?